He took out the electric drill and then did not hesitate to drill down on his knees. At that moment, the other boy fell to the ground in pain. The next second he continued to drill his own leg with the drill. Others were almost unconscious from the pain, but he was very calm and let the drill keep rotating on his leg to chat with others. Kelly was the op man out at school. He bought a cup of instant noodles at the supermarket and only ate the wrapper. He would even eat the erasers off pencils. Kelly's chronic malnutrition due to allotriophagy caused him to be very skinny. He had to hide from the school bully. One day he was seen eating a paper cup by some school bullies. They laughed at him as a garbage boy and carried him into the trash. Only his friend Dominique was willing to help him up and stop them in time. But this strange boy has an even stranger superpower. One day Kelly suddenly fell ill. The doctors couldn't cure him. Mom had to call a wizard in town. She heard that anyone who was touched by the wizard would be cured of whatever illness they had. The wizard came to Kelly and placed his hand on his chest. But soon he felt that something was wrong. It was as if something had been taken out of the wizard's body. And he kept coughing. The cigarette he was holding in his mouth fell out and burned Kelly. The wizard fell to the ground with a painful expression. Mom was shocked. The sheriff came to check Kelly's chest after dealing with the scene. It turned out that Kelly's chest did not have any scars. That was the day Kelly discovered that he had the ability to heal himself by accident. He met Dominique, the girl he liked. On the road, the way the two of them were talking and laughing made Reed very jealous. He threatens Kelly to stay away from her. But now Kelly is not the least bit afraid. He laughed in the face of the unfriendly Reed and kept taunting him. Then he gets a punch in the stomach. Kelly found that his body did not hurt at all. Instead, Reed was in so much pain that he could barely breathe. Reed was enraged and punched Kelly in the nose again. As a result, Reed still felt the intense pain. Then he raised his stick to hit Kelly again but felt his head hurt and fell to the ground. Reed then felt something wrong. He ran away with a bruised face and cursed. Kelly came home and told his mother what had happened to him. However, she just thought Kelly was talking nonsense. So Kelly asked her to pinch his arm again. The mother saw how persistent he was and gave him a random pinch. But the mother only felt a sharp pain in her arm. Kelly used a lighter to roast his palm in order to test his powers. Even if his hands were smoking, he did not feel a little pain. This confirmed his ability to resist all external damage. The boy picked up her hairbending glass, smelled and tasted it, and returned it to her. Kelly begins to fantasize about doing something intimate with her. He sees Dominique walking on him in a bikini and tease him repeatedly. In reality, Dominique actually feels erotic and bows her head shyly. At that moment, he imagines that Dominique's friend also walks in. He also imagines being with two women. Sarah felt her orgasm and even let out a scream. Then Kelly collapsed from the pleasure. He runs out of the classroom in embarrassment. The school bully suddenly picked up Dominique during the party. Kelly saw this and rushed to protect her. He didn't panic at all because of his superpower. The school bullies immediately left because they saw that Kelly who was usually afraid of them, now had the guts to talk to them. So they immediately prepared to teach Kelly a lesson. Luckily, the teacher came to Kelly's rescue just in time. After the party, the school bullies saw Kelly on the road while they were driving their sports car. They were chasing Kelly with a gas pedal. Kelly didn't want to get into trouble. He just wanted to get away on his bike. But in his panic, he accidentally fell off his bike. The students in the car were too late to break, so the accident happened. The driver lost his breath on the spot. Kelly was able to get up after being hit. The rest of the group fled immediately. By the time the police arrived at the scene of the accident, Kelly's injuries had already healed. It was as if he had never been hit before. But the three perpetrators blamed Kelly for the crash. They said Kelly intentionally rode his bike into the middle of the road. They let the car swerve and hit the curb to avoid Kelly. After this incident, Dominique and Kelly were getting to know each other better. A few school bullies also gradually found out that Kelly was not right at this time. But instead of being scared, they come up with a crazy plan to get back at him. One night Kelly's mother had a relapse. So Kelly takes his car out to buy medicine for his mother. The school bullies waited outside his house for a long time. They thought Kelly's mother had left in her car. So they immediately chained the house to the beams. Then they stepped on the gas in their tow truck and brought the house down. The gas leaked out of the house. Kelly's mother struggled to get up and tried to open the door to escape. She found the door was locked. Ten seconds later, the house exploded. Kelly came back and saw the fire and immediately rushed into the room. But he could only hold his mother's body and cry and scream. The police did not find evidence of the school bully's crime. At the scene of the fire, they concluded that the explosion was caused by a gas leak. It wasn't until Kelly and the sheriff met the bullies on the highway who were picking on Kelly. Kelly saw their happy and foolish appearance. 
gradually ignited the fire of revenge. The boy ripped off a piece of clothing, chewed it and swallowed it, then he used the clothes to strangle the neck. Meanwhile, an ant playing in the river suddenly found Sia Smai. He immediately found himself breathless and then immediately sank into the water and kept struggling. His companions finally sensed that something was wrong with him and immediately jumped into the water and fished him out. But he was already not breathing. At the same time, Kelly woke up with a sharp breath just as he was about to execute the others. The police came. Kelly had to let them go for now. But Kelly found another opportunity for revenge in chemistry class. He harassed Sarah, the school bully's girlfriend, in front of a large crowd. His actions provoked the bully to anger him. He grabbed the corrosive chemicals from the table and threw them at Kelly. But the wound on Kelly's face quickly recovered. But the bully wasn't so lucky. His whole face was corroded and it fell to the ground foaming at the mouth in pain. Everyone was dumbfounded. After solving the problem, Kelly ignores Dominique and screams at his mother's killers. Kelly vowed to make them pay. He stole the personal belongings of the school bullies while they were training on the playground and ate them in front of them. Then he pulled out a electric drill and drilled it into his leg. The police advised him to stop, but he kept the drill spinning on his leg until Dominique said something to stop him. Only then did he take the drill off his leg. The school bully took the opportunity to grab a mysterious liquid and sprayed it on his body. The liquid seemed to temporarily block Kelly's self-healing powers. The school bully's father saw this and grabbed the sheriff's gun. He walked up to Kelly and pulled the trigger on him. As a result, Kelly regained his self-healing ability in time and activated the damage rebound. Then the school bully and the father directly lost his breath and Kelly just felt an itch on his forehead. Dominique saw that he was blinded by revenge and said she didn't like him anymore. Kelly panicked because Dominique was the last spiritual support he had left alive. So he agreed to let the wizard take back his powers and become a human again. But during the ritual, the wizard discovers that Kelly has become one with his powers. Now Kelly had to die in order to release the power. Dominique tried to stop the ritual, but the greedy wizard continued to perform the ritual in order to gain the power. She picked up Kelly and told him to run away. As a result, two police officers came and shot Kelly. Dominique was also hurt and fell off a cliff. Kelly woke up and found that his only hope of survival. Dominique had lost her breath and became furious. As a result, he was shot by the police again, and this time his self-healing superpower did not appear again. Then Dominique suddenly came to life. She only felt her wound itch. Then her wounds began to slowly heal themselves. It seems that this superpower did not disappear from Kelly, but was transferred to Dominique. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. See you next time.